In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to animate this fun puking rainbow animation. Before animating, we'll need to create a null layer, and parent it to the body layer. Parent the eyes, upper lip, and cheek layers to the face layer. We'll use this mask layer to cover the upper part of the rainbow. And also parent the mask, teeth, rainbow, and lower lip layers to the upper lip layer. For the arm layers, we'll need to convert the arms points to nulls so we can control them easily. Select the right arms path. Then click points follow nulls, and we've got two nulls for the right arm. If the Create Nulls from Path script is not visible in your After Effects, open the Windows tab and you should be able to find it there. Do the same to the left arm. And we'll have another two nulls for the left arm. Scale the null layers to it's easier to see them individually. Then parent the upper nulls of each arm to the body. Parent the right hand to the right arm's lower null, and left hand to the left arm's lower null. Now we can control the hands easily by moving these lower nulls. Let's hide layers that we're not going to animate for now. Let's start animating the eyes first. We'll make the eyes close and open by keyframing their paths. Then, we'll keyframe the scale, and Y position of the null, body, upper lip and arms layers. We also need to add a mask to the entire rainbow like this. Then keyframe the mask and lower lips path. Let's make these body parts move upward within 4 frames.
and the eyes will be closing halfway through. The rainbow isn't visible at the beginning, so we'll need to mask the rainbow like this. When the rainbow starts to appear, the cloud's body will move downward. The arms will also go down with the body, but we'll offset their keyframes to make them move one frame after the body, because naturally all body parts don't move at the exact same time. The upper lip will return to its initial position. Keyframe the lower lip's path to make the mouth open when the rainbow starts coming out of the mouth. After that, we'll make the body shake for a few seconds before being back to its initial state.
To animate the rainbow, we'll use the wave warp effect. Change the wave warp's direction to 180 degrees and select top edge pinning. Then keyframe the wave width. and change the wave speed to 6. Move the rainbow's keyframes forward to time it perfectly. Finally, we'll add some stars to make the animation more interesting. Pre-comp the stars layer. We have six stars in total, so we'll duplicate the stars layer six times. Each layer will contain one star. Adjust each star's anchor point. Then keyframe each star's scale to create a bouncy animation. The puking action happens very fast, so we're going to create a little contrast effect by making these stars move at a slower speed. Add the loop out expression. Then offset each star to randomize them. Move the star's composition to where the rainbow starts to appear. And keyframe the star's composition's opacity so that they don't suddenly show up and disappear. We have just finished creating a puking rainbow animation. The project files of this tutorial are available to download in our After Effects project files library. For more information about access to our library, please check the link in the description section below. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next tutorial.